Okay, so the RAM is going to go into these sockets over here on the right hand side of the motherboard. What you'll notice is there's four RAM slots, but the kit of RAM that we got only came with two RAM sticks. So we can't just pick or choose which of these sockets we insert them into. And if you look in the motherboard manual, it recommends that you install, if you've got two sticks of RAM, into the second socket away from the CPU and the fourth socket away from the CPU first, if you've only got the two sticks of RAM. Okay, so this is also marked on the motherboard for us here. It's saying if we only two sticks, the first we should be installing it in here and here. Okay, so this is our RAM, and one of the things I want you to notice is that the gold connectors that are going to plug into the motherboard are at the bottom, but they're not of equal lengths. So the one over the right-hand side is longer than the one over the left-hand side. So it's important we line this up properly when we're plugging it in to the socket. Okay, so to prepare the motherboard to receive the RAM, all we need to open is the little clips on each of the sockets that we're going to be inserting the RAM into. Next, we need to line the RAM up with the socket, making sure we've got the long side on the long side of the socket. And if we just line it up in the socket, checking it's the right way around, and then all we need to do is apply some firm pressure, and it should lock and click into place. Now it's just a matter of repeating the process with a second stick of RAM. So if we line it up with the socket, and then apply a bit of pressure, and it locks and clicks into place. So we've now installed the RAM. So what we need to do is restart our computer, and when the MSI logo comes up at the start, we just need to press the delete key, and that will take us into the BIOS. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the logo to appear on the screen, and then I'm gonna press delete. Or if you want, just keep pressing delete at any time and it'll take you into the bias. So there we go. Okay, so I've mentioned the first thing I wanted to do was check our memory speed, because quite often it won't run at the specified speed on the memory straight out of the box. So we can see our memory is currently running at 2133 megahertz, where we know it can run at 3200 megahertz. So we have a look down here. There's two XMP profiles that we can enable, profile one and profile two. But when we look at them, they're exactly the same. So all we want to do is enable one of the profiles by clicking up here. And that then should turn our memory to let it run at 3200 megahertz. So to save all these settings, all we need to press is the X button in the top right hand corner. Press it again. Click yes to save these. Okay, so I just want to check our memory is now running at 3200 megahertz. So we right click here and go to Task Manager. If we go to the Performance tab, click on the memory, and we can see here the speed is 3200 megahertz.